are here with Kelsey Ballerini, who is presenting to Lainey Wilson tonight, our record breaker. Tell me a little bit about your relationship with Lainey. Uh, well, I just, uh, we were stuck in traffic for an hour on the way over here, and I like edited my speech four or five times because I, I really wanted to do a proper good job honoring her. So I feel like I have my full, my full story about my love for her in my speech, but um, she's just, I've always said, like, I feel like being a good person first and a good artist second is really yeah. kind of the right recipe to do it right and have, like, a really long-lasting career and feel good about it it and yourself and she's the epitome of that and I, I feel really honored to be here to to show up for her um, she's just she's a, a good person and a great artist a great person <laughs> and a great artist we say the same about you thank you thank so obviously our cover line we took it from her single country's cool again do you feel like country's having more of a moment than ever before right now well I mean obviously I um, I think country's always cool I've always yeah. thought country's cool <laughs> I um, love that we're having so many people from other genres come in and explore. Just like I love when people from our genre explore. I, I love being able to cross boundaries and, and genre lines and really just be creative. That's what music's about. It's about wherever your roots are, it's about being able to just express yourself and tell your story. And I don't think it should matter too much on whether there's a banjo or a beat drop as long as it's the truth. And I love that people are coming here and, and, and telling their truth. I think it's just the more, the merrier, always, everywhere. Yes. Yes. Perfect transition. You are performing with one of my all-time favorites at the ACM. Yeah. Yes. We yeah. love Noah Khan. We, we love Noah Khan. I, I'm such a fan. I mean, that record, top to bottom, is just, I think, one of the, like, standalone most um, just brilliant songwriting that we've heard in a long time. And uh, I got to meet him. Um, at the Billboard event around oh, around Grammys, amazing. and uh, became buddies, and and this performance came about, and it's just been um, it's been really wonderful to get to know him, and he's just a wonderful person, and such a wonderful wonderful songwriter, and um, it's going to be a really a cool moment again, like what I was just talking about, like a yeah. cool collaboration, crossing of genres, but it's all about the songs, it's all about the storytelling. Okay, well, I can't wait. I know everyone has been asking you, so I'm going to ask you here on camera, what is the craziest thing that happened at the Met? It was your first time going. You looked gorgeous. Have you really, like, taken that in yet, that it's happened? It was definitely a bucket list for me because I, um, I, I love, I'm a girly girl. I love that part of what I get to do for my, for my job is play dress up, too, and express myself, and that, that's just, like, the pinnacle of that. Um, the craziest thing that happened, I went with Michael Kors, and um, we had our, our final thing the day before, and I, I usually have a ton of rings on. They're my personal rings, like the stories that were given to me, whatever. And so I had all my rings on, and but my dress was mesh and really delicate and all these handmade flowers, and I was like, he was like, take, take your rings off to try the dress on. And he put his hands out to hold my rings, and I'm like, you're Michael Kors, I can put them on the counter. He was like, I insist, give me your rings. I was like, okay. Turns out he accidentally put them in his pocket. And um, and left with all like all of my like personal rings. Awesome. I did get them back, and okay. now I was like, you, we have collateral on each other now. Now we have to be lifelong friends, Michael Kors. <laughs> um, it was it was amazing. It was an amazing experience, and um, I mean, yeah, like very out of this world to just be on a carpet with people like that and um, try not to pass out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And did you stay for the performances inside? I feel like no one can actually talk about what happens inside, but did you get to enjoy yourself? Yeah, of course. Me? Enjoy myself? Um, no one tells you who's performing, so we didn't know, but uh, it was Ariana, and she was just god tier. It, it was, I mean, her, her voice is incredible, and it was like, what, like 500 people in the room? And she performed like it was a stadium, and it was beautiful to see. And it's kind of the moment where everyone, like, uh, like unbuttons the first snap of the corset and you're like okay okay we're safe now and it was it was really fun to see people kind of loosen up and stand up and jam out and yeah. sing I'm so into you it was so good yes we love Ari yes we do all right well thank you so much have so much fun tonight and we love you